Hey, good morning, everybody. Chris Souders, Slender Cat Outdoors, back with you again on this beautiful sunny morning. And this morning, we're getting ready to go out and fill this tank up with gizzard shad and do some flathead fishing. But wanted to share some information about questions that I've been getting about what kind of additives I've been using, what kind of water I put in it, how much salt, and just uh, what kind of tank that I use. So we're going to share a little bit of those tips and tricks on how I do my tanks to keep my bait as frisky as I possibly can and what works for me, okay? So to start with, if you're somebody out there that has decided that you want to start trying to use Gizzard Chat Alive and you've decided, hey, I want to uh, start keeping these things alive on the boat, go ahead and invest in a good quality bait tank, okay? Now, I highly recommend Extreme Bait Systems because of how easy they've made my life the last few years when it comes to keeping shad alive. But there are many good quality bait tanks out there. Just make sure that you buy one that has a good reputation, a good name, and that has, you know, you know people that use it on a regular basis and can keep bait alive, okay? So, now to start with, once you have decided to get that tank, what tank you're gonna buy, it's, the question is what kind of water do I put in it? Do I put the river water in it? Do I put lake water, creek water, well water? I always prefer to put tap water in, uh, straight out of my hose from the house, okay? It's the cleanest water that I have around me and it's the best start for me to be able to put in this tank, okay? Now once I fill it up, with water, the very first thing that I use is a thing called Stress Coat. Okay, it has all the additives in it to take all the harsh chemicals out of your tap water, and it has aloe vera in it to help the shad keep their, you know, heel if they get cut or if they're cut from the net or from another fish. Helps keep their scales on, things like that. Okay, it's called Start Right. And I'll leave a link in the description for all the products that I use. That way you guys can just go straight to them and uh, look at them. If you decide to buy them, great, you know, but if you decide you want to use something else, that is fine as well. But uh, this right here, over the years, you know, I've went back and forth um, trying different things, what worked, what worked better, and stress coat is always something that I can depend on uh, as far as an additive into my bait tank get me the give me the best start possible from the get-go now a couple other things uh, ammonia is something that you want to try to take care of in your tank uh, you you know you're going to have ammonia in it um, but if we can limit the amount and keep the stress level of our of our bait down that means that we're going to be able to keep them healthier for longer and a couple ways you can do that is uh, from the pet stores, they got what's called ammonia lock. And that, you know, you, you just add in, you know, the follow directions on the amount per gallon, and you can add that straight into your water, okay? And it works great. I use this on a regular basis. Now, something, something else that I didn't mention when I was talking about stress coat is how much to use. And these caps that come on top of them, if you can see, they're, they're actually a measuring cup. And it'll have marked on it 5 ml and 10, m, 10, 10 ml, excuse me. And just follow the directions. Um, it's actually 1 ml per gallon of water. So this tank is a, a 30 gallon tank, but it actually holds like 40 gallon of water. So I always put 40 ml in this tank. And like I said, I can't stress enough about stress coat, but uh, it works wonderful. Now, <clears throat> back to ammonia. Uh, this is another product that you can use if you don't want to put the additive into the tank. You can actually, these are just little ammonia bags that you can just drop into the bottom of the bait or the uh, filter side of the tank, okay? You can just drop them down into the filter and that will actually help eliminate the ammonia as well. And 
these are reusable all you gotta do is you know rinse them out and uh, put them back in so just another way to help keep the ammonia down <clears throat> now salt I get a lot of questions about salt you know what kind of salt I use how much salt I use can you use too much salt well Morton's pure natural crystal uh, water softening salt is what I use um, this is a 40 pound bag you can pick it up at Lowe's I think for six or seven bucks normally keep mine in a little uh, jar like this you know to make it easier for me to carry whenever I go out of town and things like that but so get you guys a close look at that what that looks like They're like little crystals. So I always recommend one cup per gallon or per 10 gallons of water that you have in your tank, okay? And once again, this is a 30 gallon extreme, but it will hold altogether about 40 gallons of water and that's what I wanna treat. So this is a two cup, um, measuring cup to here but all the way up is about three cups so i always add roughly four cups of, of salt per tank okay and i actually dump this in there Like I said, you know, uh, as far as can you add too much salt, um, you know, like how much that salt, you know, is, is actually measured into the water and that thing, I believe you can. Um, do I know the scientifics about it? No, I, I don't, I don't know that much, but I know what has worked for me, you know, throughout the years and any time that I've added too much salt, it seemed to be that they didn't do as well as if I added the one cup per 10 gallons. And that's, you know, whether it's this tank or other tanks that I've used in the past as well. Now, when it comes to the, you know, the ammonia stuff, like I said, you can either, you can either use the bags or you can use this ammonia lock, either way you want to do it. Um, I'm going to be using the bags in this tank, so I'm not going to be adding none of this ammonia lock to it. But now all we got to do is uh, plug it in, let everything dissolve. You want to give it, you know, give it plenty of time. I always fill it up, treat my tank before I leave, and then it's normally 30, 40 minutes to uh, wherever I go to catch, uh, catch bait. So, you know, it gives it plenty of time for the salt to dissolve, everything to mix up, and that water is normally good to go for your bait. If you have any more questions or uh, questions that I may not have answered, you know, during this video, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Um, maybe maybe do another little video, maybe do a live video, uh, just for people that want to find out more information on shad, shad tanks and things like that. But if you haven't already, please subscribe and like uh, to the channel. I um, hope you got some information out of this. I uh, hope it helps you. And uh, if you're deciding to, 
you know, go after Gizzard Shad for a bait and get a good quality tank. Uh, you know, if there's anything I can do to help you, please let me know. So, till next time, we'll catch you on the water. It's time for me to go catch a bunch of gizzard shad and hopefully some big old flatheads. So, we'll catch you on the next video.